Hello everyone, Rarity Dash here. Time for another blind commentary. Uh, it's another viewer suggestion. This time it's the My Little Pony live show suggested to me by a user called Sasami-chan. I remember hearing about this oddity back when it was fresh in 2011, but I don't think I ever saw more than a few seconds of it and promptly forgot it existed until Sasami-chan mentioned it in the comments of my Rainbow Rocks commentary. Uh, so what is this thing? It's some kind of weird half-hour stage show that started touring Canada in 2011, featuring people in pony costumes. It is, in a sense, an official thing, produced by a Canadian company and at least sponsored by and approved by Hasbro. It is inspired by the first season of the show, but none of the voice actors or creative people involved in FIM were even involved in the production of the show, and I don't think even any of them even knew it existed until after the fact. So what am I expecting? Uh, a lot of unsettling costumes and general weirdness. I don't know if I say I'm expecting it to be unimaginably awful, but I'm certainly not expecting it to be very good. I'm thinking it will have a lot of moments that will have me confused and possibly able to make some pretty good comments. Uh, not a whole lot else to say. Let's get this thing started. Okay. Let's see. There's a stage. Hear the theme song. Let's see. Whoa, wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Hello. My name is wow. Twilight Sparkle, and I'm so that is excited insane. to be here with all of you. Not only am I excited to be here, but I'm also excited because I've just found out the most <laughs> amazing news about the best <laughs> night ever. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to burst if I don't share this announcement. Let's... So, here it is. What must it be and like Leandra wearing that? Lines, Princess Celestia I don't even want to know. Is pleased to announce <clears throat> the Grand Galloping Gala to be held in the magnificent capital city of just... Canterlot. The Princess quarterly extends an invitation to That's all the terrifying. ponies in Ponyville. Wow! <laughs> the Grand Galloping Gala is an event to mark all events. Something so special, it only happens once a year. But wait a moment. That's just the first part. It looks like all the ponies in Ponyville have been split up into teams. Oh, okay. Teams of three to be exact. Each team with a separate responsibility. Hmm. Teams of three. Each with a different responsibility. Well, as a team organizer, this should be no problem for whoever's on yeah, my team. I'd say I'm pretty responsible, wouldn't you? So, let's find out what, what am I watching? For. Okay, the princess has stated that ahem, our seasonal chores are a lot of work, but are very important for all the ponies in Ponyville. Each team who wishes to attend the gala should first complete their seasonal chores. Then, by the time spring arrives, all teams will be finished and welcome to attend the Grand <laughs> Galloping Gala. It is up yeah. to each team organizer to see to it that their team complete their chores in time for spring. Therefore, without any further ado, it's time to introduce the other two members okay. of my team. Bring out more they ponies. To you, my two pony friends Let's who are see how sure freakish they look. The job done. Please put your hooves together and welcome two of Ponyville's top athletes, be it on land or in the sky, two of my very best friends and yours. Please welcome Applejack and okay. Rainbow Dash. No rarity. I said Applejack and Rainbow. Applejack, Rainbow Dash. 
Where could they be? I could have sworn they were right behind oh, okay. me. Oh no, this is not good. Fall is quickly approaching and time is of the essence. Applejack is responsible for the apple bucking and it must be done before the end of fall. Oh, I thought we were oh. winter wrap up being. And I could have sworn we'd have seen Rainbow Dash fly over all of us by now. She is never one to back down from a challenge. And she would never miss out on an opportunity to prove to all of our new pony friends she is good enough to be a member of the Wonderbolts, <laughs> yeah. the princess's exclusive aerial acrobatic Ugh. team. Well, I hope to find her soon, because after fall comes winter, and then spring. Oh dear. Yeah, that's how she's... We'd better well, get started. I... As team organizer, I'd better go look for them myself, before it's too late. <laughs> My little pony. Same song. Already almost regretting this one. Oh wow, what is this? Where is your hat? Where is your hat? <laughs> oh. Ticketmaster Alliance. Andy McIntosh could replace that saggy old plow, and Granny Smith could replace that saggy old hip. So I'd better go. Um, I, I can't seem to. Uh, does any pony know the best way out of here? I've been working so hard, I've forgotten which direction I came from. Oh yeah. <laughs> kind of wish. Had a face cam for this one. <laughs> Mostly, it's just me staring in horror at this. What? Whatever this is. It only barely looks like Applejack. So it's, why does it have twin tails and no hat and it's freakishly shaped face? And oh my God, there's Rainbow Dash. Yeah, Rainbow Dash looks weird as hell too. Just the shape of their faces. It's it's kind of frightening. And the fact that their mouths don't move. It's everyone would be watching the sky. Their eyes riveted on the Wonderbolts. And swoosh! In would fly Rainbow Dash! I would draw their attention with my super steed strut. Yeah. Don't think you're going to mesmerize anyone when you're with these moves. Sonic Rain Boom, huh? I'd like to see this Rainbow Dash do a Sonic Rain Boom. When did this happen? That is none of your business. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it isn't. I'm going to be just fine. Tip top shape in time for the gala. That may be true, Rainbow Dash, but our team, just like every other team in Ponyville, is working hard to complete their seasonal chores. 
hours in time for the gala, so we've got to clean up around here. Twilight Sparkle is our team organizer, and she's dependent on the two of us to get her done in time. Then you'd better quit your slacking and get a bucket if you intend to finish by the end of fall. Oh, yeah? Well, come the end of winter, you got to do your bit and clear them clouds so as to bring in the spring. Oh, yeah? Of madness. We need to work together as a team to get everything done in time. And from what I can see, both of you need help. Nothing needs more rarity. Out. I'm gonna prove to you. To what am I talking home. about? I'm glad there's no rarity. Don't want to see her freakish monsters. It's getting to be too late, Applejack. We've gotten so far behind schedule. Fall is almost over. You need to accept help from the rest of the team. Well, okay. what help is there to get, Twilight? Rainbow Crash hurt her wings trying to be a big show off. Rainbow Crash off. She won't be able to fly to the highest trees to help me pick the apples up there anyhow come the end of fall. Yeah? Well, I don't see Apple Smack growing wings anytime soon. Tell me, how is she supposed to help me move the clouds come the end of winter? How, how would she do that in the first place? You both need to stop bickering. Must keep bucking just a few. What is Rainbow doing? She's just like These getting in Apple Jack's face for no reason. Must finish harvesting. All right, you two. Applejack, you can't do this by yourself. The princess has asked us to work as a team, and we're here to help. I completely respect the Apple family ways. You're always there to help any pony in need. So maybe you can put a little of your stubborn pride aside and allow your friends to help you? Okay, Twilight. I'm not taking no for an answer. <laughs> what? Oh, yes, wow. Twilight. Yes. Please. I sure could use your help. We need to stop and put our heads together. All that's done is giving me a sore noggin. I mean, taking some time to think. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Me, team organizer for times like these. So, all we need now is a moment to think clearly. There's always a way to get things done. And sometimes, if you allow yourself the opportunity, the answer to any question may lie right in front of you. Wait a second. I think I've got it. Maybe our answer has been right in front of us all along. There are ponies right there here are. in the audience. And I'm pretty sure they'd like to help us out. We can all work together. This way, we'll get every pony's job done in time for the gala. Well, what do you say? Do you think you could help us out? Well, we can't hear you. Will you help us out? Time to put our differences aside and work together as a team. Oh, what the hell? Pinky's song from Over the Barrel. The song that was supposed to be kind of terrible. Why, why is this here? This has nothing to do with anything. How? Both who? That doesn't make sense in this context. There are three of you, so it can't be... <laughs> yes, that's right. They did steal your song, Pinky. Now, it's time to help Applejack finish all of the bucking and picking of all the apples before it gets too cold and winter comes. Good point, Twilight. We'd better get a picket. Now, listen closely. If you really want to help us out, here's what we need every pony to do. 
on the count of three, every pony in the audience, reach up, up, up to the highest tree you can imagine and kick <laughs> as many apples as you can possibly. Oh, wow. We're running out of time, so we better act quickly. Are you ready to pick some Oh, yes, Applejack. We said, are you ready? Yeah. Why am I actually reaching? <laughs> Pick them apples. That's right. Oh, that's great. Only a few apples left. Every pony's working together now. I see some apples behind some big branches. Do you think you can reach them? There they are. Great job. You've got them. Boy, how that's fantastic. We did it. Yeah, we get the point, Applejack. Wow, we are so lucky to finish the apple bucking just in time for winter. And we couldn't have done it without the help of all our new pony friends. I can't thank you all enough for helping. I sure was acting a bit stubborn. A bit? Okay, I might stubborn. And I'm awful sorry. I'm blessed to have y'all as my friends. My friend, Applejack, is the best friend a pony could ever have. And she's yeah. always there to help Not you, home. Rainbow Dash. The only trouble is, when she well, I likes help, Applejack she better. finds it hard to accept it. <laughs> and so, while friendship is about the giving of ourselves to friends, it's also about accepting what our friends have to offer. You couldn't be more right, Twilight. Actually, that was a lot of fun. But I'm starting to get Stay close. It's getting to be the dead of winter. And no Seasons move fast on this stage. I reckon we best look out for each other. <gasps> Did you hear that? Ooh, what was that? Hear what? Twilight, did you just say something? <gasps> you too? Don't be frightened. Come on, every pony. Laugh. Laugh out loud as hard as you can. Don't what? be shy. Oh, stealing another pinky song. Just why not? This is not really in character for Applejack. And that didn't even rhyme. You, you're ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this is not in character for Rainbow Dash. This is... If you wanted to insert Piggy songs, you could have just made her be one of the ponies. I mean... Doubt it's that much... Harder to make a to absurdly creepy pinky for costume. Spring. No pony likes a long winter. I'm sorry, Twilight. So winter's already over I then. I just don't think I'm ready to fly yet. I really don't want to let our team down, so I'll try my best. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. You can do this, Rainbow. Uh, Rainbow, there's no way you could do this work all by yourself <laughs> anyway. In order to yeah, you suck, all Rainbow. Clouds so the sun can shine in time for spring, we need all the ponies in the audience to join the weather team. After all, that's what friends are for, to help each other out. There's always a place for every pony to fit in. Well, what do you say, every pony? 
We need all the help we can muster up. You ready to join the weather team? A little louder. Y'all ready to help the weather team clear them clouds away? Uh, well, the kids seem to do it at least, I guess. That's something. Oh, and here we go. Winter wrap up. <laughs> Hoofsies, yeah, that's totally Twilight. Did Rainbow sing that part of the rain. <laughs> But you already know you're an organizer. You made a big deal about it repeatedly here. This doesn't make sense. Still a good song. Yes, they're showing off the crowd. Wow, there's a lot of people there for this. That's surprising. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. Already looking forward to the gala song. <laughs> Good job, every pony. Go on and give yourselves another hoop applause. <laughs> We've been so lucky to have every little pony stick by us to pick all the apples in the fall and to clear all the clouds at the end of winter. And now that all the teams in Ponyville Yay!
Oh, we have to go back and look at That's it. true, Applejack. All our friends in the audience worked so hard. If our new friends can't be counted in, then count me out. Hmm. Well said, Rainbow and Applejack. <laughs> you know, I've learned that one of the joys of friendship is sharing your blessings. But when there's not enough blessings, back to the ticket master, I guess. <laughs> Our team will be returning all three tickets to the Grand Galloping Gala. If our friends can't all go, go we force don't in the tent in the lesson. <gasps> I have just received the most wonderful <laughs> news from the princess. <laughs> Telepathically? Well, what did she say, Twilight? She said no spike, I noticed. Tony and the audience did such a great job working together as a team. All of us are invited to attend the Grand Yay! Hooray! We can all go! I can't believe we're finally here! Oh yeah, here. here we go. With all that we've imagined, this is sure to be the best night ever! <laughs> yeah. Who gets to sing Rarity's part? <laughs> okay, so, so they're just singing about rarity. Nowhere in sight. So apparently rarity still exists in this freakish world. Fluttershy doesn't, because they all just sung her part. Lucky Fluttershy. <laughs> Not existing in this world is probably a good thing. Pinky doesn't exist either. Okay, I guess she does. Working Pinky in there too. So it's just Fluttershy who doesn't even get mentioned in this thing. <laughs> Figures. Of course you will. Probably all just won't. <laughs> eagerly awaiting getting out of those damn costumes. <laughs> God, that was terrible. It's always nice to have a few extra hoops. Thank you all to every pony. And there's one more thing I want to mention. And what's that, Rainbow? Well, just that the best reason to lend a hand is because you wish to be helpful, not because there's a reward. Of if course, you Rainbow. That, the rewards are sure to come. In fact, it's important to remember teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Dear they just said Celestia, that. I've learned 
that sometimes the way we expect things to go isn't always the way they'll end up going. Life never seems to work that way. So the real challenge is to welcome new approaches and getting oh, wow. things done. If we can let go of what we thought was the right way of doing things and instead choose to work together to find a new way to achieve our goals, well, anything is possible, especially with the help of all your friends. Uh. Oh god, and they're gone. Oh. <laughs> Do whatever hell they came from. One more time, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, for My Little Pony. Did you guys have a good time? If you didn't make, you make a big hoo <laughs> you had a great time here today. There you go, perfect. Oh, that's it. <laughs> So, uh, I guess that was a thing. I think I'm more at a loss than usual with this one. It kind of surprises me that you could hear the kids in the audience enjoying that. As it truly was kind of disturbing. Just those costumes with their solid weird shaped heads and blinking eyes and an opening mouths it just looked so wrong uh, there were a lot of questionable decisions on display here though it wasn't just in the costumes it was <laughs> they took ideas and even whole lines from the show but condensed it all and robbed it of meaning or anything of interest and just made it so bland and insipid uh, and then there was the un amusement of the oddly repurposed songs, many of which just didn't make sense at all in the new context, and it was just, wow. And yeah, it was just a little half-hour per stupid performance for kids, but I think a little more effort to make it good could have been applied. I mean, it, as terrifying as they were, those... Pony suits had to cost something. That had to at least have some money to spend on it all. Couldn't they have found someone who knew how to actually make a coherent story for the thing? Wow, and uh, I really can't think of much else to say. If you enjoyed this commentary, let me know. If you know of any ob other absurd oddities related to Pony I could watch, let me know that too. This was pretty terrible, but that in itself can be kind of fun. Uh, see you in the next one.